Fingerprints and eye scans of every person in India are being gathered in the biggest biometric database in the world. More than 1.2 billion people's data will be on the system, which will give access to the welfare state. But opponents argue the scheme could be exploited by the Indian government. Alex Rossi reports from Delhi. This is an enormous task. The fingerprints and eye scans of every Indian in the country are being taken and collated into an online database. When complete, everyone will have a unique 12-digit identity number. It will enable them to access India's vast and unwieldy welfare state. 78-year-old Chandra is one of the first in line at this biometric data collection point outside Delhi. He believes the scheme will stop corruption and help the poor get their benefits. There will be some source to stop the corruption. That, that will be the basic reason for stopping the corruption in India. As India gets richer, it's spending more in an attempt to lift the poor out of poverty. But much of the money is wasted or stolen by corrupt bureaucrats. This biometric scheme of identity proof will make theft by officials more difficult, according to the project organizers. There are a large number of Indians who don't have any form of identity whatsoever. So this is a way to include them into the society and give them the benefits. The second reason is to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of government spending on public welfare. The project will take at least 10 years to complete and will cost billions of pounds. But take-up has been impressive. One million people are now being processed at centres like this every day. Creating the world's largest biometric database is, of course, an enormous challenge in a chaotic country like India with a population of 1.2 billion people. In all, 2.4 billion irises will have to be scanned and 12 billion fingerprints will have to be taken. But critics of the programme argue it's not so much about fighting corruption, but what it will do is give an overbearing state even greater powers to abuse. Civil liberties groups claim gathering this information is an invasion of privacy. Campaigners like Sanjay Parikh are now urging Indians to boycott the identity project. Once you collect that information, then all the time that person will be under some kind of surveillance and whether that information will be kept in our country secret or it will be passed on to different companies and, and other uh, countries as well. Organisers though say the database which includes the biometric details of children and adults alike will remain confidential and the benefits to citizens of a more efficient and less corrupt state far outweigh any concerns about intrusion. Alex 